Hello students. So today we are going to talk about balance of payment. Now what is balance of payment? Now we can understand balance of payment in this way. Now if suppose this is country A. And this is country B. Okay. Now, when we talk about country A and country B, so you know that these countries are dealing with each other. Okay. Dealing with each other means, means there is a transaction. Okay. So, for example, for example, whenever there is any transaction, whenever there is any transaction between this country okay so you can say there is a flow of flow of foreign currency okay so in one is getting foreign currency and from one is going out okay so this transactions we have to record under balance of payment so here i have taken an example of country a and country b now i can replace it like this also okay so for example on one side india is there Okay, on one side India is there and on the other side other countries are there. Other countries are there. So, you know that every year, every year some foreign currency is going outside India. Okay, either in the form of import. Okay, either if someone is going outside for any purpose. Okay, so then also foreign currency is going outside. Similarly, Every year, some foreign currency is coming to India also. So, whatever foreign currency is going outside and coming to the India in a financial year. So, when you have to record this data with respect to foreign currency, that is known as balance of payment. Now, this data is recorded by RBI. This data is recorded by RBI. So, this is first you have to first understood. Okay. So, ultimately you can say balance of payment is the annual record of record with respect to inflow and outflow of foreign currency. Okay. Foreign currency of India with respect to rest of the world. Okay. So, again I am saying that it is a annual record of record of inflow and outflow of foreign currency. So, I am telling you this meaning in the context of India only. Inflow and outflow of foreign currency, currency between India and other countries which I can say rest of the world which I can say rest of the world. Okay. Now, this annual record means we are maintaining it for financial year. So, you know that financial year starts from 1st April and it goes to 31st March of next year. Okay. So, for example, this year it is 1st April 2023 and it will end on this date 31st March 2024. Now, this annual record is maintained by Reserve Bank of India. So, this is the third thing that you have to remember. And now, this inflow and outflow can happen due to so many things of foreign currency can happen due to so many things. So, for example, for example, this inflow and outflow can happen Due to number one, you can say, number one, you can say that is trade. So, we call it export and import of goods and services. You can say foreign investment.
this is another another thing that you have to tell okay number 3 foreign borrowings now when we are saying foreign investment it can be it can be foreign investment going outside india and coming to the india also so you can say inflow and outflow both similarly foreign borrowings that government of india is taking borrowing borrowing or you can say not only government even if private sector is also taking borrowing okay from outside so that you can say inflow of foreign currency is coming similarly outside the world or outside the country or rest of the world if suppose someone is taking borrowing from india and that someone can be indian that someone can be any private person also as well as foreign government it can be anyone okay so it means foreign borrowing is going outside or foreign currency is going outside so basically here our purpose is to maintain the record that how much foreign currency is coming and how much foreign currency is going from our country so when you maintaining that record so this is the purpose or this is the concept of balance of payment okay this is the concept of balance of payment clear so this is what you have to remember so similarly inflow and outflow can happen in some other way also like grants so list is endless okay so i'll tell you we present this thing in some form okay so that is why we are going to talk about that also okay now if you see when we talk about balance of payment balance of payment so balance of payment has has two components number one is current account number two is capital account now apart from current account and capital account there is another two components which is again a part of balance of payment that is forex reserve okay forex reserve and net net error or you can say net error and omission so again total four component two are the one and two are the one so in your ncrt these two components are mentioned but overall there are four components clear now we'll see these component one by one now when we are talking about current account now when we are talking about current account so in current account there are further two component that is visibles and invisibles okay visibles and invisibles so when we talk about visibles when we talk about visibles so in the case of visibles we talk about goods okay we talk about goods that is trade in goods so when i am using the word trade in goods what does it mean i am talking about export and import export and import of goods so this is what you have to remember so here i am talking about export and import of goods which is also known as merchandise trade okay so every month you get a data on merchandise trade okay every month you get a data on merchandise trade clear so this is called this is called trade in goods or you can say export and import of goods clear so in case of india you will see that we are importing more goods as compared to as compared to export so basically i am ta talking in terms of value okay so you can say whatever items we are importing okay they are more in more in value terms that is in dollar terms as compared to the items we are exporting okay so if i so you can say that with respect to visibles we are in negative or you can or you can say we are in deficit so you can say our our 
import of goods is more than export of goods. That is why it is negative. Clear? Now we talk about invisibles. Now when we talk about invisibles, there are three components. Number one, trade in services. Okay. So, when I am saying trade in services, it means I am talking about export and import of services. Export and import of services. Now, if suppose I am in foreign country and you are seeing me in India. So, that is called, that is called, you can say trade in services. So, on part of India, we can say that we are importing services or you can say in India, if suppose you are sitting in foreign country or you are a foreign student sitting in some country that is outside India and you are seeing my lecture and for that lecture you are paying me in dollars, okay, you are paying me in dollars. So, that is called you can say from India side it is export of service, okay. Similarly, in case of health also, so now we have a concept of telemedicine. Okay, so sitting in India or doctor sitting in India can treat or give consultancy to the patient outside India. So that is called telemedicine. So that is also export of services. Okay, now similarly, similarly if you are, if a person is going outside for tourism purpose, that is called import of service. Clear? Import of services. Similarly, any foreigner is coming, that is called export of service. So, ultimately, we are talking about services, okay. So, that is why trade in services is part of invisible because it is not counted, okay. We cannot count it, ki we have given one education, two education, just like we have, you can say in, in case of goods, you can count that we have exported two car, three car, four car, yeah, imported four car, five car, whatever, okay. So, services cannot be counted in numbers, okay. Trade in services. Next is factor income. Now, for example, you can understand like if suppose a person has invested in India. Now, through that investment, they are getting some income. So, for example, you can understand in this way. Now, if suppose any foreigner has put up money in bank account. That is in, in any Indian bank. So, they are getting some interest deposit rate on that. So, that is the income of that foreigner. So, that will become a part of factor income. Clear? Next is transfer. Transfers. Transfers include like remittances. Now, first of all, understand what is transfers. So, transfers are like one side affair. One side affair means that, that money has been transacted, but in return, there is no transaction of goods and services. So, for example, if suppose my family member is working outside, in, outside India and there they are earning money in foreign currency. Now, they are sending money to me in India. That is called remittance. It can be opposite also. Like person working in India and their family is staying outside uh, India. So, they are sending money outside. So, that is also called remittance. Clear? So, ultimately remittances are part of transfers. So, India is the highest recipient of remittance right now. So, you can search also. Clear? Next, if you see, apart from remittances, you can say gifts given in cash form and donations also given in cash form. That is monetary form. Okay. So, these are all part of transfers. Okay. So, these are called invisibles. Okay. These are called invisibles clear these are called what invisibles okay so these are part of invisibles i hope it is clear to you now moving further moving further if you see now come to capital account now in capital account we have foreign investment 
नाउ फॉरेन इन्वेस्टमेंट इज फॉरेन डायरेक्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट विच कैन बी फर्दर ऑफ टू टाइप ग्रीन फील्ड फॉरन डायरेक्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड ब्राउन फील्ड फॉरन डायरेक्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट नाउ ग्रीन फील्ड एफ डी आई इज ग्रीन फील्ड एफ डी आई इज दैट एनी इन्वेस्टमेंट एनी इन्वेस्टमेंट दैट इज कमिंग इन अ फ्रेश मैनर ओके दैट इज कमिंग इन अ फ्रेश मैनर दैट इज कॉल्ड ग्रीन फील्ड एफ डी आई फॉर एग्जाम्पल एमेजॉन कम टू इंडिया एंड सेटअप अ प्लान Brownfield FDIs, Brownfield FDIs, that is any investment, foreign direct investment coming in existing business. So that is called Brownfield FDI. So you can say Maruti Suzuki. Clear? Now in that also we talk about foreign institutional investment also that is coming in capital market. Second is foreign borrowings. foreign borrowings clear so in foreign borrowings there is you can say external commercial borrowing external assistance and trade credit now what these are that we are going to discuss in some other lecture okay and last part of capital account is that is banking capital transaction so in my in this video my purpose is to just introduce you with what is current and capital account includes okay capital ba banking capital transaction now what they are uh, exactly so with this we'll discuss in some other video okay so this is about current and capital account okay so in this lecture we have focused on the meaning of balance of payment so balance of payment has four component current account capital account Net error and omission and forex reserve. And in this video, I have discussed only two. That is current account and capital account. Now their detail also will discuss in coming lectures. So this is what a basic part we have discussed in this video. So stay connected with Study IQ IS English channel, and I'll come with some more basic concepts which will help you in your UPSC Civil Service exam. So we'll meet soon. Till then. Jai Hind and have a nice day.